You guys are right, man. This chat, this episode was hype. This episode, was, this is the first time. You know, I missed the Hunter Hunter train. Okay, I missed that. I wanted to review that weekly, but I'm too late. Um, but I got this. I got Attack on Titan, and this episode was hype as crap. It had the gruesome goriness of the classic first season. Um, I read the manga. I'm caught up with the manga. I don't like the art in the manga. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just going to be honest right now. The anime is the perfect way to experience the series. It is the perfect... I agree with popular opinion. The anime is the perfect way to experience Attack on Titan. You cannot experience it any other way. You cannot experience the sheer, like, epicness that Wit Studio and Production IG is able to put into this. Now, I wish these guys would do a freaking Berserk anime. Wit Studios, Production IG, if you watch this video, do a Berserk anime. Or do freaking Blade of the Immortal, or do one of them. Because if you did, I'm telling you, anime industry would be great again. It would be wonderful. But yeah. This episode of Attack on Titan was hype as crap. Um, we got an introduction of the Ape Titan, which is sentient. It can talk. It's like blah, 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 blah. Talking about, oh, what's this weapon thing? Like two guys fly. What are y'all flying on? Yeah, but that was pretty cool. It was that. And then we had the whole situation involving what's her name and the guy with the, 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 the girl with the glasses. I'm not going to research her name. Um, it's been a while since I've sat down and watched Attack on Titan and then read Attack on Titan. Um, I, the last time, uh, spoilers, the last time I read it was the part where it's like, I think it's Aaron's, like, dad or ancestor or something, and they're, like, on the edge of the wall, and they inject them with something and turns them into titans. But, yeah, um, just in case you guys, I'm not gonna say, a couple, couple seconds ago, I was just spoiling something, uh, I hope you guys skipped that, but, uh, yeah, um... Uh, I think, I don't know, I think her name's Ymir, is her name Ymir? No, I, that's not, that's obviously, that that can't be her name, that can't be her name. But, uh, yeah, it was really hype seeing that, that she was, like, getting ready to throw this priest off the freaking, the freaking wall, and, like, she was, she was questioning him how the Titan got into the freaking wall. And those of you who read the manga know how they got there, even though, like, how they freaking disguised the fact that they got in there was pretty dumb to me. I was like, whoa, what? Like, like how do they, how do they, like, how do they do that? It's so, it's so freaking stupid. But, you know, it, it, I guess it works for this kind of story. I mean, it's, Attack on Titan doesn't have the best story, but it's epic as crap. It is really, really good. It is really fun to watch. Um, it's like every single moment my heart was pounding like this. Because, like, the episode was so hype, the animation, everything insinuated the hype. It made every single moment just epic. Like, just every moment in the episode. Um, it was great seeing, you know, Mike, um, the second strongest, like, freaking dude in the game. <laughs> the second strongest guy in the entire Attack on Sight, the entire, like, I think it was Survey Corp, Corp or one of them, but he's like the strongest guy. He's like, he's next to Levi as far as being the strongest. And it was cool, like, seeing him actually fight, but it was sad seeing, well, it wasn't really sad. It was sad, but it was brutal seeing him actually go down. Seeing him go down. That was, that was like insane. He, I don't think he would have went down if it wasn't for the Ape Titan. I really don't. Um, you wouldn't have went down. He would have sticked around, you know what I mean? It would have just it would have just been epic. Outside of that though, we we get we get a horse thrown in the freaking air by the ape the ape titan literally throws a horse at this dude. A horse. Like literally throws like I was like I don't remember this. It's been a while since I read this. I don't remember this happening. Oh my god. This is epic as crap. And I was watching it with my um my friend and like he was just like he like he doesn't read the manga. So he was he was watching this. He's like, oh my god, this is so interesting, so interesting. I I'm I'm just so ready to see what happens. I my my overall thoughts of the episode, this episode was epic as crap, and I just can't wait to see the next one. Um I feel like 
I want to watch it weekly. I want to review it weekly. It's going to be hard for me to review it weekly, though, given my schedule and how much I got to do. But I got to make some time for Attack on Titan because, you know, Umali Tahanado, you know, freaking, what is that? Ends in Dave the Yega. I don't even know how to say the words. I don't know Dave the Yega. Yega, you know, I got to. I gotta study the freaking words to song so I could sing the song at the beginning of, you know, each review. But yeah, Attack on Titan is back. Wait for the next episode. It's only gonna be 12 episodes this season, but I think that works better in this series benefit because then they have less money, less effort put into this as opposed to last season, because last season, it was like 20, 24, 25 episodes. And all those episodes like went in and it was like, yeah, a lot of hard work. It's a lot of hard work to do like 25 episodes of anime. I got to rewatch the first season. Um, I forgot a lot what happened. I got to rewatch it. I got to reread the manga up to current date. Um, I just stopped reading at one point because I just... It's it's good. It's not like it's bad, but it's the manga isn't the way to it, it isn't it is it isn't the way to experience this. You cannot. Like I've already said it before, but you can't experience this any other way outside of production IG and Wit Studio coming together to produce this. That's the only way you can experience the Tag on Titan. I don't care what any of the manga fans say. Manga artwork to me is trash. I'm sorry. I'm speaking from this perspective of a manga artist myself. It's trash to me. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Don't get triggered. Um, but uh, yeah, that's all it is. That's all there is for Attack on Titan. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think is going to happen? Um, what do you think about the, wall, the the Titans in the wall? What do you guys, for those of you who read the manga, what do you think about how they disguise the fact that there was a Titan in the wall? Like, What do you think about that? Because I thought that was dumb. Um, what do you think about all those details? Um, what do you think? For those of you who haven't watched the anime, what do you think is going to happen next? Uh, what are y'all thoughts about what happened in this episode? I know what's going to happen next, but I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to say Part of the opening freaking spoiled it, but, you know, let's keep moving. But, yeah, that's it for the, for the day. You guys have an awesome day, and peace out.